I'm David Carney from CNET.com. We're here to talk to Rick Clancy, Senior VP from Sony, about Sony's Blu-ray strategy. This is the Sony BDP S1 Blu-ray player. Um, when's this coming out, Rick? Well, David, we're looking to get this shipping in July. That's our goal, uh, aiming for July shipment. This will be the first Sony Blu-ray uh, disc player here in the United States. And it's about $1,000? We believe it'll be roughly in that price range because this will be a high-end premium uh, product like many Sony uh, innovations and introductions. Typically, when we co first come to market, we come out with a very high-end uh, model. I guess one of the big questions consumers have, of course, is should they wait for the PS3, which is also supposed to have Blu-ray, and how would you address that with this $1,000 player? Well, it really depends. Um, almost like with DVD in the 90s, uh, Sony came out with a reference standard DVD player that was roughly in the same price range, maybe even a little higher. And Sony led the market here in the U.S. for consumers who were looking for the ultimate home AV, home entertainment, home theater experience. We think that will happen again with Blu-ray among all the people who have uh, stepped up to high-definition televisions, adopting uh, Blu-ray disc players from Sony. But by the same token, there'll be another, this time, another large market very early in the game with the proliferation and the introduction of the PS3 later in the year. So uh, you'll see this come together even more quickly with Blu-ray than we did with DVD. But it's a similar situation because really uh, in the States, the U.S., uh, DVD took off with Sony's device and other companies as well even before uh, the PS2 came to market. Whereas in other parts of the world, you saw DVD grow uh, stimulation based on the uh, PS2 uh, at the time. So you can see different levels of market uh, and consumers develop. You have high-end uh, home theater enthusiasts, HD people who have people who have already made the transition to HD. They're going to buy this product right away. And you have a new market with gaming enthusiasts. How many titles at launch time when this the Blu-ray player actually comes out in terms of Blu-ray movies? Well, Blu-ray movies, we've had great support from the Hollywood community. And close to 90% of all the uh, movies that have been produced will be available ultimately. Uh, from studios that are supporting the Blu-ray format. And uh, right at launch, we're expecting uh, more than 100 titles from not only Sony Pictures, but other studios as well. A lot of people aren't necessarily excited about having to upgrade their DVD library again uh, after they've just done it already. Can you say something about the new discs and the pricing and what would, it, what would give the incentive, incentive for uh, consumers to upgrade again to a new format? Well, the great thing about uh, the Blu-ray format and the Blu-ray uh, disc player that you see here is that it can play consumers' existing uh, library of DVDs and they will be up so that the quality of the picture will be better on a high-definition television. But now as consumers buy into high-definition TV, they're obviously looking for the best video experience they can get. There's a great demand, a great thirst for quality HD content. You're seeing it coming from the broadcasters, the cable companies, satellite providers, sports, movies. And it's just natural that these same people who are going to HD want the full power of HD. And Blu-ray is just natural for those folks.